Hey everyone, it's Ali Lindley here from One Number, and today I'm going to talk you through our Tableau Viz extensions, uh, but particularly the Tableau Tables one, which I think is pretty cool because it helps us tackle a whole bunch of the problems that we've been struggling with with Tableau Tables, Tableau Text Tables over the last little while. So before we dive into it, this workbook is in the description below. If you want to download that and follow along, you're welcome to do that. So let me show you why everyone's been getting excited about this. Uh, this is a Viz extension, <clears throat> which means you can just connect to it and Tableau does a whole bunch of the hard work. But you'll notice that we've got dimensions and measures on detail. So you're not kind of putting one thing on text, one thing on detail. It's all going on to detail. And then the other cool things are that you can manually resize the column if you want. And each column can have its own little filter above the column. You can enter a text value if you want, technology, and we can see what's going on. Very, very nice. And we also have these like Excel-esque features like data bars and conditional formatting for just, just one column, which is really, really nice. And we also have features like downloading to Excel, which I think is going to be pretty well received. So let me show you how to build these. It's not super difficult, but I want to talk you through one or two things. So the first thing we're going to do is add an extension. Now, if you're not 100% certain, a Viz extension uh, is a feature that has been released by Tableau kind of recently over the last sort of six months. And the idea is that these are chart types built by developers uh, or by Tableau and Salesforce to sort of make these complex charts much easier in Tableau. So often building complex visuals in Tableau required us to do pretty intensive calculations or some data prep that would be a little bit weird, you know, but then you can build your Sankey chart or your radial chart, whatever it would be. Now we have these extensions and they allow us to basically just plug and play. So there are a couple of um, steps or instructions for each of these charts. And if you follow those, you're able to build one of those super, super easily. So what we're going to do is click on built by Tableau and Salesforce, and we're going to click on Tableau table and open that. Slight disclaimer, we'll just click OK. And now you can see our mark type is Tableau table. We've got a detail tab and tool tip, and that's, that's it basically. So let's add some fields. I'm going to drop order date on detail. I'm going to put our category onto detail. And then let's put some measures, profit, quantity, and sales, like this. Right, so here's our chart, nice. So, so far, nothing crazy, but like I pointed out, you can manually resize any of these columns, which is very, very nice. You can also rename each of these columns by itself, which is awesome. And that's been something that's kind of annoying to do in Tableau, and you often have to create your own little calculated field if you want um, columns to be renamed individually. So, hey, small wins. What else can we do? Uh, the first thing I want to do is format our extension. Okay, so here's our format extension menu. And you can see we've got a couple of options. We'll just toggle this on and off. There's a little toolbar. We can show our column filters, which is what I was interacting with in the first sheet. You can include your null values if you want. And you can show your little Excel download button, which I think is going to be super useful if you want to go and analyze a little bit more in Excel. Then let's format one of these measures. So let's click on profit and we're going to format. Right. So our column formatting for sum of profit is going to look a little something like this. So we can change our default formatting to data bars. That's going to remove the text and give us data bars corresponding to the profit value. We can show our mark text if we like which is pretty cool. And maybe this is an area where we take advantage of the column width, you know, the custom column width. Now, we can also change that to a color scale, which is pretty cool. By default, it's going to give us a little blue palette. Uh, and that's, that's nice. We can choose our own one. So maybe we go to default and instead we're going to set up some conditional formatting. This is very similar to Excel. So we could say, uh, right, this is sum of profit. And so we could say, hey, if this is greater than or equal to, and perhaps we have a target for each of these, I don't know, I'm just making something up, of like 10,000, then you've hit your target. You know, that's fantastic. And if it's less than, 
or equal to uh, 9999. Then you have not hit your target. Oh no, terrible. You know, something like that. Now, um, what else did I want to show you here? I think that's fine for what, we, what we're going to do so far. The one thing that I do want to show you is let's go and add some data bars to our sum of sales. Okay, so here's our sum of sales format and we're going to change this to some data bars. Let's show the mock text. Okay, simple enough. Here's an issue I've been running into. If you manually resize the column width, that's totally fine. But if you wanted to change the default number format, you're going to run into some problems. And before I show you exactly what those problems are, I just want to say, <clears throat> if you want to level up your Tableau skills over the next little while, we'd love to have you at a class of ours. We've got classes from Tableau beginners all the way through to intermediates and advanced, really based off of Eric and my experience. Uh, trying to build out real world scenarios for you to practice on. You get access to our class recordings for two weeks. And uh, with our Tableau training passport, you can access all of our classes for 50% off. We're super excited about it. We think it's really valuable. We'd love to see you there. So here's the issue that I've been running into. You'll see that this number format is kind of clunky. I mean, I don't need decimal places for some of sales necessarily. Uh, maybe I just want it to be like 272K. Well, if I go through here, normally in a view, what I do is I'd go to my measure and I'd format this. I choose my number, currency. Let's go down. Let's choose thousands, make this dollars. And I should expect a change over here. It's not my axis that I need to change. Um, but to prove it, let's change it anyway. Right, there's, there's no change happening in here. So what I've noticed is that once you've built your table, uh, a downside is that you kind of need to come into your default properties and change your number format for your, in this case, for our sum of sales, for our measure that we want. So this is gonna be dollars, this is gonna be thousands. And now I can see a change in the number format. That's fine. So a little bit clunky. And if you've got some of sales all over the place and you've got a set number format, but you just wanted to change it for this text table, it might be a little bit tricky. Here's another issue. Let's see if we can get it to work. There we go. So the minute you change that number format and then you manually resize the bars, you're going to get stuck like this. And even if you reset that number format, so we're going to go through to number format, choose automatic and click OK it's still not going to fix this manual bar. Oh, it did. Okay. Wow. I was struggling with that for a while earlier. Okay. Well, now we know if you're struggling with the, the number formatting, you can just reset it like that. So these views aren't perfect. Um, I know for a little while, uh, Tableau has been struggling to make these available on Tableau public or Tableau server. I'm sure they're working super hard on that. And, uh, it, it might even be sorted as we speak. However, I would say whenever you're using a Viz extension, I would just encourage you or caution you to make sure that this is robust before shipping that to a whole bunch of people. As we've seen, there might be some small issues that we could run into uh, that might be unbeknownst to us. And now we, we're actually shipping those issues uh, you know, across the board. So I think the more these are used, the more they're stress tested, the more we can catch these bugs and sort of help the community use these Viz extensions. But I would encourage you to use these too, because you will uh, save yourself a whole bunch of time if you've got a particular Viz in mind and you're not quite sure how to get there. Some of these are fantastic and the developers behind them have been awesome in uh, putting in all that hard work to help us all improve. So that's awesome. If you have any questions about our Tableau tables, we'd love to answer them. Feel free to pop them in the comment section below and we'll do our best to get back to you as soon as possible. If there are any other videos or some content that you'd like to see from us, please let us know too. We'd love to give you videos that are useful to you and that you wanna watch. All right, thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you soon.